back, everyone. Welcome back. It's time for another episode of Midlife Minecraft. It's been a while. So, an episode came out last week, but truthfully, I had that thing recorded uh, before I went fishing. I uh, went to the cabin and got a bunch of video recorded, but I didn't end up having time to edit it and get the video out. So I'm super sorry about that, guys. It's been such a long time. I didn't mean to la leave you all hanging. Um, fishing was super great. Got a lot of fish. Had a super fun time. Uh, I just totally love it up at my cabin. Whenever I'm there, it's like, it's like my happy place. I'm always sad to come back to the cities where everyone is in a rush. But enough about the cabin life and longing to be back. Um, talk about a little bit of stuff that went on with you guys. So when I came back, I wasn't really gone by choice. I had a ton of computer issues. Holy cow. I had a crazy bad virus and my windows got really screwed up. And I had a lot of really important stuff on there. And since it's such an old machine, it took forever to back up, you know, like 400 gigs of stuff that I wanted to save. And it was, it was just kind of a big headache, you know, last week getting everything back up and running. Uh, while I was doing it, I was doing a bit of building, which I didn't do on camera. I was a little too in and out of the chair dealing with the computer and then coming back and sitting down and all that. So I never, I didn't record at all the past couple weeks and a whole bunch of stuff has happened so biggest news my heart's broken my heart's broken guys blacksmith Billy is dead uh, you're seeing a little bit of changes here with the forge and I don't know I don't know what happened I was moving some farmers Moving some farmers down to see if getting them further away from all the doors up here would help them farm. And when I came back up, my blacksmiths had all vanished. Uh, all I can think is that a zombie must have somehow got to them and glitched through. So maybe this whole carpet thing isn't actually <laughs> zombie proof. I don't know what happened. I just came back to empty minecarts. So now these guys are just some Garbo replacement dudes. Um, that I haven't even really traded with, so I don't know what the heck they even have. They're just here to fill spaces and see if they stick around for a while. So that's what's going on with that. Hey, what's up, guy? What's up, Ivan? Oh, I'm in F1. That's why I can't see your name. Got the jukebox going. All right, we ended up doing a little more decorating in here. Got some light, light going on underneath this rug and uh, some gray countertops to kind of look like a rough stone counter. Uh, so that's okay. You guys have seen the forage like way too much. So I will get out of it um, Quick Quick segue do 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 new building So before I left I got you know a boat launch made took down the Pyramid the pyramid that was sitting out by this temp shack that I hated and the little mine entrance Well now that's all gone. It's all beautiful um, I've got a little bit of footage that I thought I was going to do into a speedy update, a little like speedy up, fast forwardy bit, but I ended up losing it. So that's not going to happen. That's totally cool. Uh, here we are at the library. This is the schoolhouse. Um, needed a place just to put the librarians and have a good place to kind of do a bunch of their trades. I had all these villagers kind of stacked up underground. And I wanted them to be a little more accessible. So here they are up in the library. I've got to put a sign above him. But for the most part, they all have a sign. So it's pretty easy to come and see what they have and what's worth trading for. And they've got... Oh, he's got a flower! Icarus, I love you! Thanks, Icarus. Icarus is awesome. Oh my gosh, that's only like the second time a golem's ever tried to give a flower away. Who do you love? Is it the efficiency librarian? Oh, that's cute. That is cute. Oh my goodness. Morning is made, guys. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is a little bit scratchy. I haven't been feeling 100%, um, but that's okay. So yeah, this is the library for now. Um, it doesn't really fit all the librarians. I've got to put a, a few of them in different places. Um, 
come up with some different things. I was thinking of making a like an archery range that's got a Fletcher and then a bunch of the bow librarians there. Uh, just to free up some space for some of the other trades in here. Uh, these spots filled up pretty quick. We've got some good villagers. Alright, so let's go ahead take the little back entrance here. No zombies. How sweet. How sweet. And let's see. This building. Okay, so last time I had no idea what to do with it. And the answer kind of came. It was... It was sort of a natural thing. After Chris and I had got a little bored, we went and CD shopped. If you haven't CD shopped before, it's just um, trapping a skeleton and then leading creepers to kill it. And we've got tons and tons of CDs. So we made a little CD shop in our town. Um, gotta get... We want to put a cleric in here that sells glowstone, because that's just because. That'll be whatever. His name will be Dizzy. This is Dizzy's Disco and Design Shop. And this is Yanto. <laughs> so this is the disc shop. I'm not sure how this is going to act while I'm recording because it is kind of a leg machine. But I made a little bit of a dance floor, which is kind of fun. So let's see. What song should we listen to, guys? Let's listen to Maul. Let's listen to Maul. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! You know what time it is for? Or, <laughs> do you know what time it is? Dance party! This isn't the dancey part yet though. <laughs> but yeah, so I made this uh, little random light dance floor thing which is super easy and not hard. It's just a line of redstone with a bunch of different repeaters to make different times. Um, super simple. Super simple. There's nothing genius about this. I'll just pop down there really quick so you guys can see the simplicity that is the dance floor of redstone. And actually, it's not really lagging at all. That's amazing. That's nice. I don't know why I put a cake in here. It's kind of weird to eat cake while you're dancing. I feel like you might get a tummy ache. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is all that's really going on. It's just torches with repeaters going into it. Really, really simple, but fun. I like, I like it. It's running off of a comparator, so when the disc is in the jukebox, the lights come on, and when I take the disc out at the end, they go back off. The only problem is if you, like, put a CD in and run away, then the lights are just on, you know, until someone comes by and takes it out. So, well, whatever. That's, like, the only flaw. I really wish... I really wish you could hook up a hopper to your jukebox... You know, like, to the top or to the bottom so that you can make, like, a repeat playlist. Why can't we do that, guys? I want to be able to load all the CDs into the top, have them play, get pulled out by a hopper, and then brought back up and, you know, kind of loop. Loop all the songs. That would be amazing. I'm not sure why that's not a thing, but it would be super nice, wouldn't it? That's enough CD listening for now. Um, so yeah, that's what that ended up being, and I had Chris do some design work upstairs. He made a super cute little bedroom. Oh, the comparator is behind this painting, in case you're wondering. That is where the comparator is coming out of the side. So up here is this super cute little bedroom. Look at this. How cute is this? This is Dizzy's little place of living. It's super cute. Oh, there's my doggies. He's got a good view. Good view of the uh, edge of the library, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just a cute little bedroom. Um, I've kind of been doing that. I'll build a building and then have Chris do the interiors. I love his interior design. It's all real cozy and cute, you know what I mean? So that's what that ended up being, was Dizzy's Design Shop. Now, a lot has happened over here, and I can't really reveal it slowly. So I'm just going to go ahead and crouch and kind of walk at it. Now, I'm not sure, but I've been having this issue with these black lines showing up on this computer, and I don't know why. So, that's a little bit annoying. And then once I get close enough, all the textures start to connect again. You see what I'm saying? 
Did you see that magic happening right in front of us? That was super magical. Um, so I wish I would have built this on camera a little bit. I spent the past couple days just building a windmill, and I had a lot of fun doing it. And it turned out just a ton better than the first windmill I ever tried making. The first windmill I ever tried making was way too skinny front to back. So it looked like this fan blade would be able to just topple it all over. Um, and I'm a lot happier with this. Not a whole lot going on on the inside yet, but let's get a little bit closer and take a look at some of the little details around this guy. All right, and we are back. Uh, realized I was the only one on, so I slept away the night. <laughs> I, always for that, I always forget that I can do that if I'm the only one on. So we'll get closer to the windmill here. Um, the propeller design, I ended up like doing one of those image searches that was a while ago. Uh, in my Xbox world is, is when I found that design. And I can't really find it again, so I'm not sure who came up with the original design. But I kind of just looked at a picture and <laughs> pieced this one together from looking at one. So I like how it turned out. It kind of looks like it's in motion with the curviness that way. I super love it. And then since it is a windmill, I just went with a cobblestone base so it looks nice and heavy like it could be supporting the, uh, the top of the windmill. Now, the inside isn't too spacious. So right now there isn't a whole lot done with it. And I've doubled what would be the spinning thing in the middle to also be the spiral staircase that's going to take us all the way up. This middle, like the middle shaft here, there is not a whole lot that you can do with it. I've just got a couple doorways, two balconies, because it's nice to come out and look over everything and look up and see the back of the windmill. It's kind of cool. And around here, I need to do a bunch of landscaping. There's our villager breeder and a really nice little view of some of the rooftops of the village over there. And this little area back here is actually kind of nice looking. I think I like this. I'll have to make some sort of horse trail that goes through the hills, you know what I mean? So yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot that goes on with that second level. Um, or really the any of the inside of this. Uh, right now, it's just sort of a look tower. And I need to do something with the top here. I can make probably another room above that, maybe. Maybe that's where the bedroom will be. And here, I need to do a little bit of work, too, so that looks more like a mechanism that comes out and holds the fan blade. Uh, but yeah, it was tons and tons of materials. Can't tell you how thankful I am. Chris and Logus both cut down tons and tons of oak trees for me to help me get all the logs and all the uh, oak stairs and planks and everything I was going to need. Um, I would probably still be cutting trees down if it wasn't for their help. <laughs> So, yeah, I've just got some little... Oh, that's a nice view. Beautiful. Very cool. So, yeah, it's it's really nice to be back on Minecraft. It was kind of weird to, you know, be in the woods without technology. Although, I have to say it would be so cool to just go, like... Be like, you know, some of the people in Alaska. Just go live off the grid and live off the land. Do some real-life Minecraft. <laughs> Which actually, it seems like that happens every time up at the cabin. We had a couple trees fall down over some power lines, and the power company had already been down to fix the power lines. And then we got we got to cut down some trees, move some logs, got to put the dock in, which is um, it you know it comes apart into multiple pieces. For any for any of you who haven't ever put a dock in, in the uh, northern Midwest. Oh, good morning, Chris. <laughs> Um, it's really cold. The snow and the ice had only been gone for about two weeks on the lake where our cabin is. So the water was a bit chilly, but the dock went in fairly well. And it was kind of like putting together real-life Minecraft blocks. <laughs> so yeah, then we got back and I was super chewed up from bugs, but super happy and sunburnt. And finally got to do some building. And the windmill is kind of what came out. I love that thing. Before I started the windmill, I did finish up the Fisher Shack. I was uh, looking for more spaces for a lot of those librarians. And this building was just sitting unfinished for, like, ever. So, 
ended up finish finishing the uh oh there's my fishing rod i forgot where i put it um got a little breakfast nook going on here so you can have your coffee and look out at the serene waterfall it's so beautiful uh ignatius is our guard here and then they all have something to do with fishing he's luck of the sea he's um lure three and then he's our fisherman <laughs> chuck and larry for obvious reasons and then winkle so if you guys don't know there's a famous dude that's named babe winkleman and he does like fishing shows so we figured that our fisherman should be named winkle <laughs> nicknamed after the great babe winkleman <laughs> So this is the Fisher Shack, went with the green carpet on top of the counter. It's kind of like when you go to a sportsman shop and they have the carpet that they lay out before they put sh put down like sharp objects like knives or hooks and things like that. Uh, so it's like they're selling fillet knives and fishing gear. <laughs> of course, we got our music set out here. No place is complete without it because why would you want to fish without music? No, I'm just kidding. In real life, I don't fish with music ever because... Pretty sure the beats and the sounds would disturb the naturalness of the fish. So I'm pretty much just as quiet as possible. And up the stairs here is another one of Chris's just adorable little bedrooms. I totally love it. He's got this couch and this chair. Um, it's more of a couch to lay on. There's not too much headspace. <laughs> I don't know what... He had a kitty that was sitting on top of that. A little black and white kitty. I don't know what happened. We'll have to get him back up here. Well, now we've got one here. But yeah, so this is the little bedroom where I guess two of the residents can sleep at a time. Perhaps Winkle sleeps on the couch. That must be what happens. And then just some emergency stuff. So if we're over here and we need to get back over to the other area quick and grab some pearls and just shoom, shoom, shoom. Yeah, patched up the roof before it was all open to the sky and everything, and not done, and it was looking kind of growed. Ooh, that's looking kind of growed. I need to fix that. Pretend we didn't look at that. That's not good looking. So yeah, that is about it for new buildings. You know, that's about it, I say. It's only, you know, doubled the amount of buildings in the village. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know. I just really wanted to get a chance to catch up with you guys and show you a little bit of what's been going on. Um, I might be doing some kind of bonus of the new release episodes. I probably will be coming out with a couple here, not just on Tuesdays, and throttling back the Flashback Friday for just a little bit, uh, just so we can be a little more caught up on the current events. Sometimes I feel like a week is a long time and I end up building a lot of things in that week. And I'd like to do a lot more building and detailing and stuff like that with you guys on camera so you can see what's going on. Because I feel like I'm a, I'm a little bit more boring when I'm just running around and showing off what's been done. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. You know I will. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. This is Casters out.